do confess that I may easily consider myself that happy trophy who was saved by, by not president, I suppose, by somehow powers, for I was born soon after the war, and everything may happen. But I'm especially grateful to that very day and have a lot of thanks to it because it always happens on my birthday just between 27th and 28th of November because I was born uh, with a strike of the clock. So I may consider or have two birthdays <coughs> or at least prolong it. <laughs> uh, then uh, uh, now to the table talk. There is some visual aids, I suppose you see that, but it's some of my suggestion, but a uh, short introduction first. I suppose you won't be arguing with me that we spend endless hours at our jobs, at our offices, among other people, and sometimes we find it very hard to deal with them. We may come across the person who it's very hard to be in the same room, in the same office, and with whom you never hear something positive uh, they never say, uh, good job, or I appreciate your <coughs> work, or I appreciate your proficiency, and vice versa. Um, they find sadistic pleasure in manipulating people, uh, clutching them together, and the effect is doubled if they see you uh, distressed, or uh, hurt, it recharges their batteries, but something should be done. And nowadays there are a lot of books or manuals, call it any way, that give us pieces of advice what should be done. Uh, and looking them through, some of them certainly, I make a list of uh, ten commandments. But in comparison with the Bible idea of New Testament, uh, you shouldn't stick to them all. And they are arranged not in the sequence of importance, just at random. I'll give some example and explain what I mean with some of them. Uh, invitation of teacher, a professional teacher, is very popular nowadays because people sometimes invite um, psychiatrists, whoever, because people are, I mean, the staff cannot cope with the situation. And why uh, break up your career from the very beginning? Because of one person. Don't invite specialists. Um, then, I'm very uh, great, uh, thankful to Marina who spoke about bitter uh, experience in your life, which may uh, help you to find this antidote, how to cope uh, in, with hardships in the, on the, your way or within your internal life. Um, and I'll give you one example. I included it in uh, number eight, which you get, get your mind busy. And I'll give you my own example. In my infantry, I was suffering from my mother, who proved to be very tyrannical in teaching and pressing me all the time, the teaching me what I should do, what I shouldn't have done. And uh, I did it subconsciously. I really kept my mind busy. But what I was doing, I was singing songs in my mind. And quite of a sudden, it was an impulse. I started asking my mother, do you happen to remember the third line of that and that song? And that was the end of her teaching. So I consider that I found this idea how to go, well, to get it, not, not to hear. Just physically, not to hear what people are telling you, but it's not a very easy thing to do. Um, in the, I'm very grateful for my granny who taught me how to find this balance in this life, how to see nature, how to listen to the music, how to appreciate good literature and uh, its sister arts, I mean, uh, paintings and so on, to keep your mind busy. And <coughs> what I... Uh, I'd like to give you one more example. It's the idea how to uh, transform a grumpy into a kind and positive and understanding person. I won't be uh, speaking for long. I give you one example. It's a wonderful American movie, um, Bucking List, uh, with Nicholson and Freeman starring. And they gave you the 
absolutely wonderful example how to turn a bad person into a good one, uh, a righteous person, but it takes a lot of time and compassion. <coughs> Uh, then uh, find um, protection. We all have all, our own protection uh, in the face of people who irritate you uh, according to our features of character and the previous experience. Certainly it won't be repeating Michelangelo who once just threw some discs from above of his car uh, <coughs> folders because he was painting and the Pope interfered all the way, and he threw death down on Pope's head. But nothing happened, thanks God. So it's, uh, you understand. And uh, speaking about be sensitive, uh, if person is sensitive to what's going on, and uh, he, may be, he may predict what's going on, and how to um, protect yourself. Okay, yes, that's what I mean. I'd like, I'd like to invite people who'd like to share with us what they personally do. They need explanation. What you do are to protect yourself with a person who is hard to deal with. Uh, your personal examples, maybe at your office or somewhere else. What should be done? You may follow this list, you may give your own vision of the problem. <coughs> Okay, you're welcome.